Question number five, Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Tertiary Education, Skills and Employment and ask, what reports has he received on the importance of skilled workers in ensuring the New Zealand economy continues to grow? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I've received a number of reports. New Zealand's unemployment rate is steadily declining and is now the lowest it's been since before the GFC. And in fact, South Island unemployment rate is now just 3.4 per cent. While this is positive news for the New Zealand economy, it is starting to lead to emerging skills gaps. <laughs> to help fill these gaps, we're training more people. And recently, we've held our first two job fairs in Australia to uh, attract expat Kiwis and skilled Aussies to New Zealand. Around 3,000 people have attended those. Mr Speaker, I've also seen international travel and migration statistics for October, which show positive net arrivals from Australia for the first time since December 1993. What's clear, Mr Speaker, is that more people are voting with their feet and returning home to work in a growing economy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Melissa Lee. To the Minister, what is the Government doing to encourage new job creation and how does that contrast with other proposals he's seen advocated? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, this is a Government that's very focused on creating and growing more jobs and more work for New Zealanders. 159,000 new jobs have been created since Budget 2011 through a comprehensive package which includes 90-day trials, the starting out wage, <coughs> investment in key infrastructure projects and making sensible changes to the RMA to speed up consenting. That contrasts with other proposals I've seen which would destroy jobs, abolishing 90-day trials and the starting out wage, big increase to compulsory KiwiSaver rates, five new taxes and an expensive ETS. Not surprisingly, those positions were all advocated by the opposition parties. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Melissa Lee. What other recommendations has he received on how to create jobs? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, the most recent suggestion I've seen is for the establishment of a discussion group oh, of yes. politicians to investigate important and pressing issues such as what, what is work? What is work? What is work? <laughs> Who does work? How is work changing? And what will work be? These are undoubtedly important academic questions, Mr Speaker. But of course, in the meantime, businesses and employees are getting on and adapting to a changing and growing economy. Nevertheless, I understand, Mr Speaker, the discussion group has been successful. It's creating a job for one person, or at least something to keep him busy. Uh, this, this, person, this person, of course, is lifetime politician, student politician, student, noted workaholic and leadership aspirant Grant Robertson. Order. Question number six, Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr.